This is Joseph Trust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, is there a way to change the image that is reflected in the reflected map material? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have the demo head here loaded in. And the question is asking about the reflected map material. So if I navigate over here to the material area and open this up in here, you can see at the very bottom, there is a standard material that is called reflected map. So I'm just gonna hover over that material and then click. And after I click, you'll see that the model is now being viewed with this material. Now, if you look at the material here, you'll see it's reflecting this kind of desert image. So it's a desert scene. So the question is asking if there is a way to change the image that's being reflected. So let's say you don't wanna have that desert reflected on your model, but you may wanna change the image to something else. So to do this, we just need to first navigate up here to the material palette. I'm just gonna open this up, and then I'm gonna click this little button here just to dock it to the side. And now it's just gonna show up over here. Next, we wanna come down to the modifiers area and now open this up. And in here, you'll see all the modifiers that are going to change how this reflected map material is being applied to your model. Now, the reflected map material is a double shaded material. So what this means, it has two different shaders that are being applied. So you can see S2 is currently active, and these are all the different options you can change on S2. Now, if you come over here and click on S1, this is gonna expose the other shader that this material is using. And in here, there is a texture map slot. And if you hover over this texture map slot here, you can see there is the desert image that's being used to generate that reflection on the model. So if you wanna change this image to something else, you just need to come over here and click on it. This is gonna open up the quick pick menu here. And in here, we can just come through and say, grab one of the default loaded textures, say like this one here. This is now going to update the texture that is applied. And now this is going to be reflected in my model. Now you can load any texture into the slot here, so I can use any of these default ones, or I can come down here to this import tab and you can load in your own custom ones. So you can come through and just play with these different textures here, and then this is going to be the texture now that is going to be reflected on your model. So once again, the process to change what map is being reflected with the reflected map material is to first make sure you add the reflected map material selected, then go to the material palette, open up the modifiers area here. You need to switch from the S2 shader to the S1 shader. And then down at the bottom here, there'll be a texture image here that you can click on. You can import in your own texture maps or you can select one of the other maps in this menu here. And then this texture will now be the map that will be reflected with that material. If you'd like to make this a custom material as well, after you have made those changes, just come back to the material palette and then click on save, and then you can load it back in, and it will remember which texture it had linked. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!